Oh, okay. <clears throat> Perfect. All right. Hello, everyone. Atila Hai. It's Atitu. Tungasugi. Tungahugi. Ani. Buju. Welcome, everyone. Uh, Sago, I guess, as well. <laughs> Throw that in there. Uh, welcome, everyone, to Makitatsu to Virtual Fitness. So today is Friday. I'm going to be going solo on my hamstrings and my quadriceps. So it should be a great workout today. Um, like usual, we have a warm-up that's very beginner friendly and a middle workout that's very appropriate for people who have been in fitness for a long time. Uh, and then we have a cool down, of course, appropriate for everybody. So it should be a great workout all in all. Special thanks to Sport Canada and Canadian Heritage for funding the Yungi Tu program, which brings Maki Tatsuyatsuk to the camera and uh, let's just get into this virtual gym. So thanks again for tuning in on Instagram and Facebook. And uh, yeah, we'll get into this workout. So the first thing, of course, we're going to go through that warm up. <clears throat> the first thing that we're going to do is a single leg glute bridge. So this is a great workout, especially for just getting into the hamstrings and the glutes. So we're going to start just opening things up with the single leg glute bridge. So starting in the glute bridge position, of course, lifting the hips like so. We're going to start one leg parallel to the other. You can keep them close together or about squared. And we're going to lift the one leg up and down and up and down. So again, lifting with the hamstrings, with the glutes. I have my hands over my belly button, just reminding me to keep that core close to the mat. So we're going to do 10 of those each side. So switching sides after 10, same thing, keeping it parallel knee to knee. And again, lifting. I like to add just a little bit of a hold to really feel that hamstring muscle bulge out. Again, one more here, just like so. So again, should be feeling that nice warmth in the hamstrings, in the glutes, pretty decent warm up. So now we're going to get into a deep squat. And so just to get us set up, just to make sure that we're in a good position to get into this workout. We're going to start in the deep squat position. So again, you want to try to get that butt to the back of your heels. Again, feet squared, shoulder width apart, making sure that you're comfortable. And we're going to get straight into the deep squats. I can hear my knees cracking as I have not been down this low for squats in a minute. But again, keeping that back straight. Again, pushing up with the hamstrings. So I like to start in that low position just because it really gets you into the right position where you want to be for these deep squats. So again, starting in the deep squat position and then working up and down like you would a normal squat. <clears throat> So keeping in line with squats, we're now going to do some squat jumps. So of course, these are great for the hams, hamstrings, the hammies, because essentially what you're doing is again, starting low into that squat jump position, feeling the hamstrings bulging right at the end. And we're going to push ourselves up, slowly back down, up, slowly back down, up and slowly back down. So just a great way to activate the hamstrings. We're forcing them to activate in the deep squat and pushing upwards. Now doing this slow controlled squat down just helps really activate the hamstrings and put them as our sole focus 
for the exercise. So after 10, doing everything intense today, except for our big workout. <laughs> and now we're gonna get into our last warm-up exercise. So again, if you find that the exercise exercises following this one are too difficult, I would maintain doing the warm-up. As you can see, I'm already kind of out of breath. So it is a great workout. <clears throat> so now we're gonna get into a seated squat and we're gonna move into a forward lunge. So should be perfect, good view on both sides. And so as you know, seated squat, starting in the seated position. We're gonna get up, lunge forward. That's one side, squat down, get up, lunge the other side, and back down. So what we're doing here is of course, we're activating those quads. In both ways, getting that seated squat, the explosiveness, and followed by a stepping lunge. So count by the squats. You wanna have 10 seated squats and alternating that lunge leg at each squat. So five lunges each leg, 10 seated squats. Again, only using the quads to lift yourself up. Just like so. Yeah, squat jumps, amazing. Yeah, they, uh, the way that they just hone in on the hamstrings is really great. So we've gotten through our warm up. Definitely feeling it in my quadriceps and my hamstrings. Definitely feeling I can take on this workout. So the first thing that we're going to do in the start of our workout is a dumbbell glute bridge. So I've done this one before. I'm gonna take the trusty dumbbell and just from the side here, placing it right over top of the hip hinge. Of course, you wanna avoid the groin area. And what I like to do is I like to just put my palms on the side with the fleshier part of my palm, just underneath the dumbbell. And we're lifting with the glutes. Again, think about the single legs that we did. And just remember putting that pressure on the core. And again, doing this 10 times, but just adding that little pause in between to really activate those hamstrings and glutes as we bring the hips forward. After 10, we're gonna move into a, our second exercise for the workout, and that's gonna be uh, reverse plank toe taps. So I believe that this one is new, and essentially what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into that reverse plank position, so arms beneath the shoulder blades, like so, and we're going to come forward you probably won't be able to actually touch that lower back, but essentially we're just gonna come forward, reaching for each toe. <sighs> 20 times. <sighs> so what we're doing here is we're essentially doing a plank focused on the hamstrings here, stretching them all the way out. <sighs> Bracing with our quads. Just like so, 10 on each side. So feeling that already in the quads for bracing, hamstrings for bracing there. And that's kind of how this workout's gonna go. We're gonna do set with the dumbbells and a set off. You're welcome to use the dumbbells or not use them at all. But that's a good way to get into this workout. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna move into some sumo squats. So now we're gonna get back into the weights, making sure that we're ready. 
Again, wide stance, toes are about 45 degrees, dumbbells together, dipping the waist, and again, feeling the quads and the hamstrings as we get low, all the way up to 10. Just like so. Now into our final exercise, we're gonna do some reverse lunges. So, whew, reverse lunges, really great, but of course, they're absolutely deadly on the quads. And so we're gonna start in the reverse position. So I'm gonna be doing these stagnant. You can switch off if you would like but we're coming down, pushing up with the back leg, just like so. And again, leaning forward will really change this workout. You can even put pressure on the knee, but we're doing 10 on each side, 20 total. So again, doing things, low reps, high weight, high reps, no weight. And again, same thing. We're getting a quad stretch, activation from the lower hamstring muscles, and a full quad lift from the front. Just like so. And I gotta say, even after one set, my quads and my hamstrings are burning, Ooh, but feeling really great. Getting back into my, my woos and my whoops. <laughs> so of course, like usual, taking that 15 second, 30 second break, but just for myself, I'm gonna try to stretch as best as possible through these workouts. I uh, have been sitting. I mean, more than usual is kind of the standard nowadays, but I gotta say, I'm sitting a lot nowadays. <laughs> so, good to stretch everything out. My knees haven't cracked again, so on the right road. But again, feeling pretty good. If you haven't already, I would grab yourself some water because I'm definitely burning up. So it's a good workout. Definitely gonna need some good water. <sighs> okay, so gonna get back into the workout. Again, starting with those dumbbell bridges. So really great for the hamstrings and the glutes, like I've said. <sighs> but there's a few minor muscles here being worked which really give you that perspective on the human body. Like for one, the lower back and curvature of that spine. If you're doing this workout, you'll really feel that lower spine and the lower back muscles right up to the latissimus, the lat muscles are really working to get this dumbbell up Just like so. So after that, of course, switching into the reverse plank toe taps. So again, just some pointers here. I like to start with my toes, flip back at me, coming up, toes pointed. Again, kind of dragging the muscles backwards to get a full stretch. And moving quickly, although maybe not gracefully. Just 
just trying to get that upper body over the hip line, adding pressure to the hamstrings, essentially using our upper body as the weight. Just like so. Wow, so of course, cardio-based exercise are great for just stabilizing those hamstrings and quadriceps while moving that upper body. And of course, burning some calories whew, while we do it. So now we're gonna get into the sumo squat. So of course, same thing, just dumbbells together. Always stretch the back before you do any bending. And again, at this point, trying to keep the back straight and getting into that sumo squat position. So I gotta say, certainly feeling these sumo squats and the hamstrings. Just like so. And now, if I'm correct to finish it off, reverse lunges. So, whew, gonna finish it off right here. So, of course, standing position, right leg back, and squatting up and down. course, try to get your legs furthered out as possible, spread them lengthwise across your mat or wherever you're working out. And again, same thing, bring yourself a couple steps forward, one step back. It's just reminded me of that. Akon song <laughs> with I think Bone Thugs and Harmony. Most of it's like in a parking lot <sighs> during winter time. I don't know if that helps. <sighs> Holy. Ah, okay. So, second set is done. Oh, definitely feeling this workout a lot. Wow, I think I've been too sedentary, I guess, with my leg muscles. But wow, totally killer. Makes me want to pull my socks up. So got two more sets to go through. We're going to finish with a cool down. I gotta say my electric personality is wearing off <laughs> as we get deeper into this workout, but nonetheless, give myself a quick stretch. And we'll get right back into it. Oh. Awesome. I'm glad. I'm glad. I did want it to be a little bit more cardio involved. I think I, uh, I agree that we do need some more cardio in these workouts. Just a little bit, you know, it doesn't hurt. So, of course, boom, getting right back into the dumbbell lifts. So, same thing, resting it on your body. If you want to make it even more challenging, you could push at a diagonal right into your quadriceps, pushing that dumbbell into your quads, and then starting those glute hamstring lifts. I find for myself, the closer my legs are together, 
the better the workout. So maybe if you're doing it wide, you're not feeling that burn, you can push your legs together. Might make it a little bit more impactful. But of course, everybody's body's different, so you might need to do it wide legged to feel anything. So now we're gonna get into those reverse planks. Oh boy, as we know, cardio heavy. So same thing, toes flex back, legs up, pulling slightly back to make sure everything is stretched. And start shooting those arms out. So, of course, with that exercise, a lot of things going on there as well. As we know, we are, of course, doing some cardiovascular movements. And we're doing a plank for the hamstrings and quads as well as the lower back. Getting into the sumos now, but the great thing about the reverse plank toe touches is it is also super great for the latissimus and the shoulders. Again, you can think of it like a reverse plank, shoulder tap, you know, hamstring <laughs> plank variation. Very good for the body. And also, so are these sumo squats. <laughs> Although, I think theirs is a little bit more straightforward. <laughs> so, moving into the reverse lunges. Of course, starting with one leg back. And coming down. Just like so. Gotta say, really feeling it. I think adding that sort of mixed pattern of cardio whew, leg workouts is really burning the, burning the uh, quadriceps. Oh, just like so. Finishing off that next set. So that's where the last fourth and final exercise after we take our rest, of course. So sumo squats kind of carry that same value. You're steadying with the quadriceps, pushing with the hamstrings. Very good stuff. You're also getting that, depending on where your back is at, where you're putting the back. You could have the dumbbells to your side, tucked behind you, or as I like to do it, together in front. <clears throat> if you do it together in front, you're getting a nice lower back push with those dumbbells as well. Think of it like a good morning. Really great stuff. <sighs> yeah, yeah, definitely. It's the reverse plank reaches. Yeah, they have <sighs> burned me out. <laughs> It's like I'm being wrung dry, you know, all the sweat pouring from my body. You know, if you're, uh, if you're a niche out there and you're uh, looking for a good sweat, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the one for you. <laughs> so, uh, jumping into these uh, dumbbell glute bridges <clears throat> or hip ups. You know, luckily we uh, can't put 
trade marks on, <laughs> on exercises, or I would be in <laughs> a world of trouble. <laughs> So again, keeping the knees together if you're not getting a burn. And again, we're curving the spine to a hill when we're down, a C when we're up, hill when we're down, C when we're up. Just like so, ripping through it. Ugh. Now into the reverse plank. The last one of this afternoon. Ugh. My legs are already burning with desire. <laughs> so again, same thing, knees together. Although, of course, be careful. Knees together, toes flexed back. I gotta say, starting this one off is very difficult, but once you get into the motion, it takes some of that stress off. Just like that, <laughs> done with. <laughs> oh, wow, so really great stuff. Definitely great cardio exercise. That one, that one will stay around, I think, for a while. Now into those sumo squats. And we're going to, of course, get those dumbbells. Putting them together if you'd like, and again, finding that place where you can spread your feet. So again, really great stuff there. Definitely a well-rounded exercise today. I gotta say, you know, everyone that comes up every now and then, at least, that workout really makes me proud. <laughs> so into those reverse lunges. Again, feel free to do this one as fast or close to as fast as you did those alternating toe reaches. Switching at 10. And again, really feeling this workout. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, we've done it. We are through the workout. And now we have left is our cool down. So, of course, wipe the sweat out of your eyes. <laughs> and everywhere else, apparently. And we will <laughs> get into this cool down. So, the first thing that we're going to do is a standing oh, hamstring stretch, except this one is a heel to toe stretch. So we're going to keep heel to toe as best as we can. It doesn't have to be exactly on the line, but essentially heel to toe. And we're just going to bring, oh, we're just gonna bring that hamstring forward. Again, I have my calf flex just to get that extra edge, but essentially we're pushing the knee forward, flexing the glutes and the hamstrings. 
just like so. It's also a really great stretch for the soulless. I should say it's technically a soulless stretch, <laughs> but it is really great for the hamstrings as well. So again, toe to heel, not actually toe to heel, but close to toe to heel. And again, leaning back, pushing the knee forward, flexing everything. If you want to get an extra adduction stretch in there, you can also turn your hips to face to the side, away from that knee. Again, and just lean into it. 10 seconds on each side. So, soulless is feeling good. <laughs> you know, thanks. <laughs> but we got the soulless in there, and we got that decent hamstring abduction stretch. So, now into one that kind of makes more sense, although ironically still good for the soulless, is the downward dog. So, from that position, we're just going to bring ourselves forward. And now for myself, pushing back, feet flat on the floor. Just like so. So of course, downward dog, 10 seconds, pushing back onto the heel. And uh, of course, pushing into the hamstrings, into the mat. So after that, we're now going to do some half splits. So half splits are challenging, but they're so great for the hamstring and especially the quad that you can't really miss them. So we're going to start, for me, my left leg forward on my heel from the side, heel, toes flexed up, and I've got my hind leg 90 degrees at the knee and my toes dug into the mat, and you're just gonna lean forward while trying to sit that butt down. So again, just sitting on the back of that foot. 10 seconds, switching sides. And again, if you do find that just reaching forward is a good enough stretch, you're more than welcome to do that. But for myself, <laughs> you know, total glut of replenishment. Uh, I just like to get both. Oh. Just like so. So again, stretching out. Again, all of these apparently are also really great for the calf and the solace. <laughs> so we're getting an extra bonus in there. So now we're going to move from that same position of that half split. And we're now we're going to do a hind leg pull. So if you would like, which is what I'm going to do, just to take that pressure off of the heel, you're going to bring that hind leg forward and we're just going to whew, lean into that forward sort of thinker's pose, preacher pose, or a lunge pose. And again, just 10 seconds. The further you lean forward, the better that stretch. We're going to alternate. And same thing. I always have just a little bit more trouble on my left than on my right. But again, leaning forward, stretching that quad, pulling in with that hamstring curl. Just like so. And now into our last two poses, we're going to do a reclining hero. So we've done this one before. It is quite difficult. So again, knees together, being cautious there. And we're going to lean 
back onto our heels. Uh, I don't think I can go all the way down yet, but just as far back as you can, safely and comfortably. Well, you want to be just a little bit uncomfortable. You want to feel the stretch, but you don't want to feel a strain. Whew. So just like that, great stretch. The camel stretch is also great for the quads as well, but just leaning all the way back gets that full quad muscle. Whew. So great stuff there. Now into our final stretch, we're just going to do a low lunge. So, of course, getting into that lunge position, for me, left leg, toes bent in, and I'm just going to try to get as low to the mat as possible, but just lowering only my hips. So about right here. Just like so, 10 seconds each side, last 10 seconds that we're going to do here. And again, a low lunge. So, slowly. Just like so. So gotten through this workout. Of course, if you want more stretches, the ones that I can really recommend are the heel to groin, reach stretch, heel to glute. So it would be like that, that stretch, and of course the butterfly fluttering. And that should be great. Stretch you out and uh, get you ready for the weekend. Ah, so ah, hope everyone is doing great. I had a Great workout this lunchtime, feeling pretty tired, but uh, I will be back Monday and uh, we've got some things planned, some fitness things planned for the winter, uh, the real winter in Toronto when it gets here. Uh, so that should be great. And I will uh, see everybody on Monday and uh, yeah, take care everybody and uh, I'll see everybody then. Bye-bye.